On this video, you'll learn how to use PowerPoint 2007 to make a quick and simple presentation. Don't be afraid to pause the video to get in a little practice as we go along. You can use PowerPoint to supplement lectures and other forms of direct instruction by providing visuals in the form of text, pictures, and even video. On this clip, we will focus on text and pictures. Before we start, there are a few things to keep in mind. There's often more than one way of doing something on a computer. If you already know how to do something and you're comfortable doing it the way you're used to, then feel free to stick with it. Another thing to note is that there are many versions of PowerPoint. You might be more familiar with this. This is an older version of PowerPoint, and although it looks very different, the same principles apply. The major differences are where some of the buttons are placed and how they look. Okay, let's get started. Open up PowerPoint and give your presentation a title. Feel free to put your name or any other class info on it too. Next you'll click on the new slide button. Notice that it's sectioned into a top half and a bottom half. Clicking on the bottom half will allow you to choose the layout of your new slide while clicking on the top half will generate a new slide based on the last one you chose. Since we're just getting started, we're going to stick with clicking on the bottom half of the new slide button. Now let's take a look at the most common layouts. You'll most likely be using the title and content, to content, and comparison layouts. Title and content is perfect for pictures, bullet points, or quotes that you want to put up on screen. To content and comparison layouts are similar. You can use both to do a comparison. The difference is that comparison will allow you to add subtitles to your lists. Let's get some more practice in. Click on the title and content layout and add a title. When you click on the large text box below, your typing cursor should show up in front of a bullet point. You can write bullet points from here. Pressing enter on your keyboard will generate a new bullet point. You can also do away with the bullet points by pressing backspace to get rid of it. The two content and comparison layouts work the same way. Now that you've mastered text, let's add pictures. PowerPoint lets you add clip art, personal photos, and pictures from the internet. Since we're just focusing on the basics, we'll stick with clip art. Clip art are pictures that are provided with the program. Let's start by clicking the clip art button. This will bring up the clip art pane on the side. From here, you can type what you're looking for in the search box. As soon as you enter your search, a series of pictures should show up in the clip art pane. Since clip art is limited, you won't find everything there. Keep your search broad and try not to be too specific. Doing a single click on the picture of your choice will add it to the presentation. If your picture ends up too small or too big, you can resize it. Just click on the picture to select it. When a picture is selected, you should see a box around it with dots on the sides and corners to avoid warping or distorting your pictures, you should resize it from the corners. Move your mouse cursor over the dots in any of the four corners. Your cursor should change to look like an arrow pointing in two directions. From here, hold down the left mouse button and stretch and shrink your pictures to the desired size. To move a picture, move your mouse cursor on top of the picture. Your mouse cursor should change to look like a cross with arrows pointing in four different directions. Hold your mouse button down and move your picture to the appropriate location. And there you have it. That's all you need to know to throw together a simple PowerPoint presentation. You can easily combine text and pictures when you choose the two content or comparison layouts.